I have a new background. This is my Zodiac tapestry. I actually got it from a subscriber because I am currently in the process of moving into my new apartment. Let me know your feedback on the background seriously because it's probably not going to be here but I could still include the tapestry. I'm probably going to have it over there once I get my couch. But this video, I wanted to redo it. I wanted to redeem myself here. If you are an OG subscriber, you may have seen the first one I did on my channel a while back. It was titled, What's in my broken bag? Because the bag was literally broken. It was the most ratchet video ever. Literally filmed it in the dark. And I didn't even name the bag correctly. I said that it was Juicy Couture when it was really Calvin Klein or something along those lines. So many of you guys called me out for that in the comment section. So I am here to redeem myself that I'm able to do a successful What's in my bag challenge. And with school starting Monday, at least for my school, shout out to Shasta College, I thought it'd be cool to do a What's in my bag back to school edition. So let's get into the video. This is my bag, it's from MahiLeather.com, and I have my initials engraved at the bottom. I think my favorite thing about the actual bag itself would have to be the buckles on the bag. I just think it makes it that much more feminine, and I really love the stitching. This bag, what's really cool about their website is that with every purchase, they donate $1.50 to a charity based in the UK that basically provides people with access to clean running water that wouldn't have that normally. So I think that's really awesome. They also eliminate out the middlemen when it comes to shipping. So you get your bag guaranteed three to five days and therefore it's a lot cheaper because of that and it eliminates a lot of waste. So they're doing a lot of good out there in the world. I definitely recommend it. It's such high quality. Like this bag is going to last me a very long time. I am done with Jan Sport. Like Never using those bags again because they break on me and I end up buying a new one every single year. And I used to use purses for my bags for school, but this is just a lot more convenient. It holds everything. So I think I'm going to show you guys the first pocket, like the, the front end right here before getting into the bigger pouch. And I don't know. It's always interesting to see what other people have in their purses, their bags, etc. Because like, I don't know. I feel like people have their own unique little things they carry. This is lipstick i got it off amazon it's called it's kiki that's the brand so i don't really have a place to put this stuff i'm probably just gonna like literally throw it over the camera uh it's carpet over there this is hardwood floor i have a charger right here for my iphone 6 and a pair of sunglasses that when i was in ohio i kind of stole them from the lost and found but i mean find finders keepers right i don't know i was using them and i forgot to give them back so I have just cheap sunglasses I can get scratched up, I don't really care. This is a portable charger because, you know, your girl likes to use her phone and this way I don't, I'm not out of luck if my phone dies and I'm not at a place where there is an outlet. So yes, this portable charger is Bay. It is from mycharge.com or that's the brand name, I'm not really sure. This is some hand sanitizer because I'm a germaphobe and Sometimes public restrooms are disgusting, so hand sanitizer is your best friend. Toss that over there. Deodorant, because, you know, and this one smells pretty good. It's revived from Dove. This I have in my summer favorites video. It is from Scentbird, and so it's like that portable perfume. This one's like juicy portable perfume, but it's great to have on you at all times and keep you smelling real fresh, you know? This right here, okay, this is literally a lifesaver. Girls, I promise, like, listen to me right here. I have no idea where I got this. I think I, I got it years ago, but it holds your jewelry. So right now in there, I have my little princess ring and a couple of diamond stud earrings that I pretty much wear every single day. I wear some form of little stud silver earrings. And that way you don't lose your jewelry if like, you're going swimming or you want to take it off for some reason. So that pretty much sums up the first pouch, which I keep, I wouldn't call them like necessities, but things that I use on a daily basis, but not necessarily like school related. So that's kind of how I separated like the pouches in my bag, I guess you could say. Moving on to the main pouch right here, as you guys can see, my wallet is right here. And so this actually like my wallet's pretty bulky. So I didn't know if it was going to fit, but this is like the perfect compartment because I always forget my wallet if I'm switching from like purse to like bag bag for school etc like now it's like okay I can check if I have it then these are like my keys my lanyards you know for my apartment for my bike for my car etc so I'm just gonna toss that over there so that's what I kind of put right there I think that works best for me and then as for the main pouch or actually there's a little zipper pouch right here I'll show you guys that first I was going to have like a pencil pouch I would put in this bag 
but I realized I didn't actually need it because of this compartment, which is like awesome. So as you can tell, it's very high quality zippers. Like everything in this bag is like, I couldn't ask for a better bag right now. And this holds all of, I have a couple sticky notes in here, but it holds like my pens. And I mentioned this in my rant video, my California rant video a couple days ago. These pens from the Marriott Hotel, only pens I will use. I swear if you ever stay at a Marriott, steal all of their pens, they're the best. They don't smear anything. So yeah, I have those pens in here. Then I have my headphones because I know I should keep those in this compartment because they're not like school related, but I don't want them to tangle. So that's why I have them in there. And I think the brand of those are School Candy. Bunch of mechanical pencils, highlighters, nothing too exciting in there. Oh, some more sticky notes. So that's kind of it for that pocket. Big pocket now, and I really want to put your guys' drawings and letters, etc., in my binder, but I need to figure out a way to organize that because I don't want to like not like only put some but not others. But then I might do something where I make like a mural of your guys' letters on my wall. So we'll we'll see. But I'm definitely gonna put something on it. Obviously, this is my binder. I just picked this up at Walmart last night at about four in the morning. If you guys saw me up on Twitter that late, and I haven't labeled my sections yet, but I like these sections because it has the pockets which are really convenient and I have five sections because I think I'm taking five classes I need to double check yeah school starts Monday I have some lined paper right here so I like to keep things pretty simple when it comes to my binder and I'm sure I'll put books in here as I get my books etc for my classes because this fits a lot next I have my iPad, which I may or may not take out for actual school. I pretty much just use this to live stream on you now. If you guys are not already following on there, you definitely should do so. It's at Alligators 2 Rs and a Z. But yeah, so I don't know if I would like need this for school or need like a laptop for school. Either one would fit in here just fine, but that is my little iPad 2. Right here, I have a little Victoria's Secret pouch. I know I said that I don't have like a pencil pouch, but this is separate. This is more like girl stuff you know what I mean and like Kleenex I have some ibuprofen hair ties chapstick so just some basic stuff like that then as you guys know I'm an extremely organized person so I have my planner right here and I'm pretty picky about my planners this one I love because it has each like a huge thing that has like all 30 or 31 days and then it'll have like each individual day of the week so like one two three four I don't know if you guys can see that and I think that's awesome because it's like enough room but not too much room. So I got this at Target. It was maybe like $10 or so. It's like M-E-A-D. It's that brand. Then, last but not least, this is literally like, this is my safe haven. I use this every single day. It says Dream on it. It's also from Target. But there's a lot of different journals I go through. I go through these pretty quickly because I'm always writing in them. And it's kind of like my to-do list, like what I need to film, like my goals, dreams, dreams, aspirations. So I write everything in this and I have a very specific way of doing so. Like bullet points or slashes or parentheses. Like I do like different things to symbolize like different areas of my life and like kind of like my priority list, you know? So if you guys ever wanna see me do a video on like my organizational stuff, let me know for sure. But this is a must for college because you can kind of like write down your homework, etc. Cause I pretty much use the planner to book appointments and stuff like that. So. <clears throat> I really need some water. Anyways, that concludes today's back to school what's in my bag video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out my other videos, follow my social media, and let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future. Be sure to always leave your requests below in the comments. I will see you guys in the next video. Later alligators. Bye. 